decision in a way was a bit of a shock. I'm very happy with the chances I've given me. It will be interesting to see who will be able to bring in the results. Definitely gonna enjoy it. I saw a gap and I went for it, and that's what racing drivers do. Definitely didn't expect him to do that. Gutted for all my fellow colleagues who worked so hard for us to win races. There's 1,300 people that work for this car, and you know, you naturally just feel like you let them down. a lot of overtaking. Kimi Raikkonen, due to start on the front row, will now start from the pit lane. He has a turbo issue. If he can get going, Martin Brundle, that will be a massive relief. But just what can the Scuderia do now to salvage their season? And it's lights out, and away we go. Ricardo gets away well from the back, so does Magnussen too. But it's Hamilton in the lead, and Ricardo slips behind his teammate Verstappen. Bottas now comes wheel to wheel with the Rebels going into turn one. Hamilton leads from Verstappen. Bottas swooping round the outside has had a very good start from uh, Daniel Ricciardo and Fernando Alonso making up places too. The Rebel and the Mercedes are tangling and uh, trying to squeeze past. Bottas is just blocked out by Verstappen, but now almost going into the back of the Dutchman on the run down to turn. Four. Hamilton then leads. Verstappen on the inside. Then comes Bottas. Ricardo Alonso on the inside. There, Van Dorn, I should say, on the inside of Esteban Ocon. Great move from the McLaren. So here's the start. Hamilton out in front. Bottas makes an early call, Martin, to switch around to the outside. Yeah, you've got some nice clear air out there. Both Williams having good starts, too. And there it goes. So the outside of turn one quickly becomes the inside of turn two job done and it was the two force Indias actually squeezing each other and running into the Williams on board with Max Verstappen 
And uh, down towards turn one we go. Verstappen on the inside of Hamilton. And with DRS, it's the lead of the race for Max Verstappen. Lewis Hamilton's lead has gone here on lap four. He was gaining, he was gaining Verstappen. Hamilton just couldn't hold him off. That's how we do it. Well done, mate. Right, let's clear the DRS. Think about your tyres now. Valtteri Bottas under pressure from Daniel Ricciardo. Ricciardo now making a real fist of it round the outside, sticking to the Mercedes. He's got the inside line at turn two. Bottas is forced out a little bit wide, else they would have made contact. Now Bottas has the inside line as they swoop down the hill and just manages to stay out in front. But for how much longer? Because Daniel Ricciardo down the inside at turn four makes another one of his trademark moves that we have seen time and time again this season. Esteban Ocon and Carlos Sainz tangling into turn one. Ocon had just got ahead and then got clipped by the Spaniard. Uh, look at this, Vettel, I think Vettel will just launch this up the inside. Well, that's exactly what he's trying to do. Inside at turn four and Valtteri Bottas cuts him off very nicely indeed. Hamilton's just set the fastest lap of the race on the soft compound tyre, which they're now putting on Valtteri Bottas's Mercedes as well. Vettel ahead of Bottas after the round of pit stops. You just saw the Ferrari uh, coming through. Any problem? No engine, no engine. Understood nothing obvious from the data. Oh, dear. Well, Sainz is obviously not feeling enough power at the moment. I wonder, is this Carlos Sainz's race done? No, no engine. Hamilton doing personal best now as well, for good measure, in second place, 34-4. Ricardo weaving a bit. You're allowed to do that oh, as Vettel goes touched. down the inside. Oh, Ricardo they... tries to cover him off. Sebastian Vettel spied the gap. Ricardo, right at the last moment, reacted to it. and you can light the candles in just a few moments' time because Max Verstappen rounds the final turn for the second time in Formula One and the first time as a 20-year-old now, Max Verstappen wins the Grand Prix and takes the Malaysia Grand Prix for Red Bull. Well done, mate. That was absolutely on merit, on merit. Flawless drive. And uh, happy birthday, mate. <laughs> I enjoyed that one. <laughs> that is why, That's Vettel... why Sebastian Vettel backed off. He's what? coming home here, Martin, with one wheel on the, the back of his car. The suspension's broken and, yeah. and the wheels... How bizarre. Is that possible? Stroll is not looking where he's going. He completely shunted into my car. I mean, seriously. Now let's have a little look. This this is after the race has finished. We're on the slowdown lap. Oh. My Vettel just ran right into the side of me. An awful lot of stories, though, out of today's race. Red Bull came good. They had the pace. Hamilton extends his championship lead, but can Mercedes uh, keep ahead of Ferrari as we head to Japan? And how costly will that incident with Lance Stroll prove to be for Sebastian Vettel? Uh, for now, though, smiles on the faces of Verstappen, Hamilton and Ricciardo. And it's lights out and away we go and Vettel gets away very well indeed. Lewis Hamilton hot on his tail and Max Verstappen tries to cover him off. Valtteri Bottas has Kimi, Kimi Raikkonen for company. Verstappen breaks the toe and now he's going wheel to wheel with Vettel. Hamilton's coming up on the outside as well. Vettel into turn one. Verstappen round the outside. Hamilton in third place. Verstappen and Vettel touch once again. But this time Vettel picks up a little bit of damage as his front wing there touches Verstappen and there's more carbon fibre on the track. Yes, it's an awful start for Vettel. He's got a lot of damage already. Will he have damaged the right rear tyre of Max Verstappen? 
Valtteri Bottas in a second and Hamilton's got problems. Hamilton's got a puncture on his right rear tyre. Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel coming together. This is an awful start for Lewis Hamilton, who's going to have to now try and limp back to the pit. There's Stoffel van Dorn overtaking him in the McLaren and the Saab and then in Marcus Ericsson. I've got a flat tyre, guys. Flat tyre. Copy, copy, Lewis. So box, 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 box. And Vettel is coming in for a nose change, as you can see, because of the damage to the front left part of his front wing. Lewis Hamilton, his race has taken an awful battering, but in the terms of the championship, it is still advantage Hamilton. And this is good stuff from Verstappen, because it would be very easy to slot in here, and he's like, no, I'm coming round. They touch tyres. He's got a, a look. It's amazing Verstappen didn't get a puncture. It's not at all amazing that Hamilton did. There's Vettel and Verstappen in the first corner. They say no further action. Lewis, uh, ever the opportunist, and he's saying, did he touch me on purpose? It didn't do either of them any good. This is not a scheduled pit stop at all. And after some excellent overtaking in the early part of this race, Ricardo becomes the first retirement, it looks like. And there goes Vettel, under braking, round the corner with uh, Felipe Massa. Now he's gone off the track, so and he's gone ahead. Back. Hand he's... it straight back. Seriously, are we developing auto scooter here? I have my nose ahead. Sabre, stay focused. Sabre, stay I am focused. I am focused, don't worry. And holding aloft their fists as well as a sign of support and solidarity and memory for those affected by the earthquakes recently here in Mexico City. Perez on Magnussen now. Perez down the inside on Kevin Magnussen. This could get a bit tasty. The crowd go wild as Sergio Perez gets past Kevin Magnussen and moves up into sixth place. The Toro Rosso of Brendan Hartley. Right, I'm losing a lot of power. Stop the car, Brendan. Stop the car in a safe place. Stop the car. This has been the worst weekend possible uh, for teams running Renault engines. So we are forecast for P8. P8, if we can keep up this pace. Out of turn two and put some pressure here on Sergio Perez uh, down towards the next heavy braking zone and he's close enough. Is he going to go from that far back? Yes, he is. Down the inside goes Vettel, locks up, goes wide, stays on the track. Nice move from Sebastian Vettel to get past Sergio Perez and up into sixth place. Sebastian Vettel with DRS and Lance Stroll's looking in his mirrors to see where the Ferrari is. And he's right behind you, Lance. And now he's going to pull over to the right-hand side. And he does. He goes down the inside. And sensibly, I think Lance Stroll rather doesn't pick a fight with Sebastian Vettel and doesn't defend too strongly either. Yeah, engine, yeah, I, engine problem. I, d I don't need to tell you. <laughs> don't need to tell you that. The car was on fire. Give it 23 seconds in front. How many seconds, you said? 23. Oh, mamma mia. It's a little bit too much. Here goes Hamilton trying again, and he's going to try around the outside again. Heavy braking into turn one, and this time Fernando Alonso and Hamilton do touch, and there was damage uh, to one of the cars, and I think it was from the right-hand side of Hamilton's Mercedes. Alonso forcing him around the outside, not making it easy at all, but now Hamilton with DRS goes down towards turn four, gets ahead of Fernando Alonso, and Alonso fights back. Hamilton is forced wide, now has the inside line, didn't leave the track fully. That's great driving from Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton. What a show those two have put on for ninth place. Max Verstappen wins the Mexican Grand Prix for Red Bull. It is another victory. It is another superb drive for Max Verstappen. Hamilton has been formidable. He has been the force and he crosses the line now to become the four-time world champion. Lewis Hamilton does it in 2017 and he can scarcely, scarcely believe what has happened for this season. I'd like to say a big thanks to everyone in this team. What you've done the past couple of years is just remarkable and I'm just so grateful for your hard work this year. God bless you. Hamilton is world champion in 2017. And on the day that Lewis Hamilton is crowned the world champion, uh, will we see 
Max Verstappen winning titles, many more races, and taking the battle to him in the future. Mexico has decided the title, and it has stamped Max Verstappen's authority on Formula One as well. It's lights out, and away we go. Very good start from Kimi Räikkönen, and Bottas, and Hamilton having to watch out as he steams down the middle. Bottas is going to get squeezed out here. Hamilton takes the lead ahead of Räikkönen, and then Bottas, Räikkönen goes wide. Verstappen has started well. Vettel going wide, and Leclerc as well. It's Hamilton, Räikkönen, Verstappen, Bottas down into fourth. He's had a dreadful start at the pole sitter. As towards turn three we go now, and Kimi Räikkönen trying to make his way around the outside, and he's locked up. He's going to lose places there as Verstappen comes back on the inside. Räikkönen rejoins the track just ahead of the Red Bull, and there's uh, the uh, Renault of Carlos Sainz going wide as well, and at the back there's a damage to a front wing of first, Stoffel van Dorn. And now Bottas coming around the outside and reclaiming second place. Räikkönen went in too fast to turn three, had to go wide, managed to keep some momentum. Bottas recovering well. We saw Ocon down the grass as well, out of turn two into three. And look at this then. Verstappen Kimi and Räikkönen. Max Verstappen swapping places metre by metre. Verstappen has got ahead of the Kimster, who hasn't picked up a place on the opening lap in 2018. He's really going for it today, locking up almost into every single corner. As towards the end of the first lap we come now, Lewis Hamilton leads from Valtteri Bottas, Max Verstappen and Kimi Räikkönen. Let's have a look at Kimi Räikkönen here. Three abreast coming up to turn one. Fantastic driving from all three of them. How did Räikkönen not touch Bottas oh, as well? Brilliant, look at that. So behind Räikkönen, Vettel also gets squeezed out wide. And now you can see the effects of that slipstream on the way up to turn three. Yeah, Lewis covering the inside nicely. And Kimi, colder front tyres, been sitting on the grid, colder brakes as well, a long run up there. And at uh, some point in there, Bottas got a fantastic release off of turn three and got himself back into position. Making his way around the outside comes Valtteri Bottas. Yeah, they're busy squabbling. Kimi was wise enough to see the Mercedes down the outside of him. And uh, that was uh, very calm-headed. We're on board with Sebastian Vettel now. DRS is enabled and down the inside goes Sebastian Vettel. Did he make contact there with Roman Grosjean? There wasn't much room. He tried to force his way through. Vettel up in the sixth place. Renault Nico in Hulkenberg trouble. Yes. In trouble, I think, there. And pulling over to the right hand side. Oh, as an engine engine failure. I've lost the power. I've lost power. Too young to smoke this engine. And it's still under guarantee, I would say. It's game over. Valtteri Bottas, the pole sitter, is retiring from this race. And what has happened to his car or his engine? We know what's happened to his race. It's, it's been ruined. My gearbox is gone. When is this guy going to catch a break in 2018? Oh, yeah. Sort of disengaged in there somewhere, didn't it? What it is doing is causing an awful lot of action in the pit lane. OK, obviously Hamilton did not pit and is staying out. So we are now within this pit stop window. Oh, so there we go, Grofty, just oh, keep an eye yeah. on this one. Yeah, and this is going to be a tremendous slipstream and DRS. Kimmy's going to have to stay on the inside and get punchy on the brakes and it's a clean pass oh, yeah. for Daniel Ricciardo. Kimi locks up into the bargain as well and he seems to be struggling a bit on those soft compound tyres. Yeah. Hamilton. Hamilton comes into the pits, Ted. Yeah, so Mercedes' explanation as to why they didn't pit earlier was because it's the dilemma of them being the leader. They thought if they pitted, then the Red Bulls or the Ferraris might have stayed out and held us up by splitting their strategies over two cars. Whereas Mercedes now, of course, since Bottas retired, only had one car in play. Well, he's emerged Wherefore. behind Verstappen and Ricardo and behind Kimi Raikkonen. Red Bull has a big blister on the left rear. Understood, so push Kimi, push. And now Raikkonen close to the rear wing of Ricardo. There goes Kimi Raikkonen on Daniel Ricardo around the outside into turn three. Ricardo stays ahead had the inside line, but look how he struggles to get on the power out of turn three. And now Kimi Raikkonen closing on that Red Bull. He's side by side with him. Not for much longer, he's not. Kimi Raikkonen up into second place. And there goes Sebastian Vettel and Lewis Hamilton on the run towards turn three. Vettel's on the inside of Hamilton, and the man who's second in the championship overtakes the championship leader on the track. 
I don't get it, guys. Just don't. Just throwing away a win. Lewis, it's James. I have thrown away the win today, but you have the potential opportunity to get back up. Oh dear. Danny Ricciardo has got a mechanical problem. He is out of the Austrian Grand Prix. He pulls over and he parks up, and whilst his teammate Max Verstappen is leading, Danny Ricciardo has a DNF. We're okay. We're okay. No, we're not okay. We're not okay. So I wonder if it's another gearbox issue, Martin. I it looks to me like hydraulics again that's going slowly that's Lewis Hamilton and he's pulling over and Lewis Hamilton the championship leader lost power okay stop 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 is out of this race and certainly Leclerc not in a position he wants to be here he's very close to Gasly wants to try and get past him Ericsson's waiting to pounce Leclerc goes to the outside does get past the Toro Rosso now Ericsson wants to have a go round the outside as well but Charles Leclerc has now put his Sauber up in a ninth place Ericsson's in the points running in 10th and ahead of Pierre Gasly He's never, ever stood on the top step of the podium here at the Red Bull Ring, and for that matter, neither of his team. But for the team and for the man, the moment has come now. Max Verstappen wins the Austrian Grand Prix. Ferrari with Kimi Raikkonen ahead of Sebastian Vettel make up the other two podium places. For good measure, Raikkonen put the fastest lap of the race in on the very fast lap, and it's a new lap record as well. Spot on, Max. Spot on, mate. Third one. That was textbook. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this feels good. <laughs> oh, yes! Hamilton can be on top of the world today. It's lights out, and away we go. And Hamilton makes an incredible start from third on the grid. He's already ahead of Daniel Ricciardo, and he's now going wheel to wheel with Max Verstappen. Uh, Sebastian Vettel alongside Ricciardo. Hulkenberg and Sainz scrapping it out. Verstappen on the inside, leads into turn one ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Valtteri Bottas alongside Daniel Ricciardo, and ahead of Sebastian Vettel. Verstappen has gone from second to lead into turn one, and there is Fernando Alonso going very wide, and contact right at the rear and we see Ricardo getting away slowly there and Hamilton saw, saw his opportunity seized it immediately now they're all in the slipstream and Bottas thinking he's gonna get involved as well so uh, all six of them turning up into the braking zone and Kimi Raikkonen very early on the brakes there no sorry it was Vettel wasn't it mm. very very early on the brakes yeah Fernando was so unlucky there because he really was he saw it all unfolding as ever, he drives with all of his radars switched on. You see it, Fernando uh, in the first corner. And this is where Bottas fans, oh, he actually was contact there. And then he'll lock his tire up going into turn six. We'll see it now from Vettel's perspective. And for once, the Ferrari didn't pirouette with <laughs> yeah, contact right. on its front tire. Oh, look, he's got a bit of front wing from one of the Force Indias, from Esteban Ocon's car. That's where he made the, uh, the contact the first time around. We had contact again. No, he actually just collected, he didn't hit anybody. He just was on the receiving end. Fernando Alonso is out of this race. Well, round that corner, the Ferrari struggling for grip. Verstappen on new tyres has now got the slipstream as well. Pulls out to the right-hand side of Kimi Raikkonen. They are going wheel to wheel here. Max Verstappen and Kimi Raikkonen. Verstappen ahead of Kimi Raikkonen a long way before turn one. And if he was being held up by Verstappen, he, uh, by Raikkonen, he wasn't being held up for very long. Hamilton might be going for it with Kimi Raikkonen into turn one. Ooh. He is going for it, you know. That's very, very close indeed. But they managed not to come into contact and Hamilton gets the inside line at the exit of that chicane to pass Kimi Raikkonen who's then passed by Daniel Ricciardo as well so Raikkonen during the course of one corner loses two places Hamilton up to third Ricciardo to fourth so Sebastian Vettel pits and it's a nice pit stop as well as Verstappen now crosses the line and retakes the lead of this race It's, it's not going to be straightforward to the end of this race, Max. Either one, two stops. And uh, so you can see the graining, there's a dull area there. Carlos Sainz has stopped at turn 13. It's the Renault of Carlos Sainz who might well be out of this race, and we've got a virtual safety car. 
Sebastian Vettel is right there on the rear wing of the Red Bull once again. He pulls out, as you can see, to the right-hand side. Breaking into turn one, we go. Sebastian Vettel on the inside of Daniel Ricciardo. They come close, but they don't touch. What a joke, these guys. Does he mean the he Force the back and the Sauber? Yeah, he means the back markers. Lewis Hamilton racing Sebastian Vettel at this moment in time. If they tangle, Hamilton needs to make sure they're both out <laughs> <laughs> in terms of the championship. Well, let's see. DRS range for Sebastian Vettel. Look how that Ferrari is gaining. He's going down the inside on Lewis Hamilton, and I don't think that was a very feisty defence from Lewis Hamilton. Their questions answered as Sebastian Vettel moves into second place in this race. Yeah, Lewis came over to cover him off, but he realised he got more than enough speed to get through there. And look at the front wing of that Ferrari flapping around in the turbulent breeze. <laughs> That's quite flexible, isn't it? Yeah. Turbulent breeze, I like that. Yeah. Something's just broken on the car. They're clearing a space in the Force India garage. We're just seeing a replay of it now, Ted. Yeah. Uh, not only did something break on Perez's car, he nearly took out Kevin Magnussen as well. And, you know, not deliberately, of course. As the home hero drives into his garage, nose first. Perez, Science and Alonso, the three Spanish speakers, all out of this race. Here comes Ricardo this time, he's going to go around the outside. Hamilton locks up and goes deep and off into the runoff area and over the grass at turn one. So he went to cover him, left his space down the outside and so busy watching the Red Bull. Uh, and that's a piece of grass, Lewis knows quite well. Yeah. Nothing left, guys. His tyres are dead. Copy, Lewis, we're looking at the options. Bottas does exactly what Hamilton does, breaks Deep, breaks late, and locks up. Daniel Ricciardo, the man who's had more DNFs than any other driver this season. Seven of them in total. A puff of smoke there that he will not want to see. And seven DNFs become eight. So sorry, mate. Max Verstappen's smile will be beaming in Mexico this evening. Verstappen wins the Mexican Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton, the man from Stevenage, has done it once again as he rounds the final corner. It's high fives for Lewis Hamilton, a five-time champion of the world. Hey, Lewis, congrats, man. That's how you do it, baby. Just like I taught you. That's how, that's how you do it. Just like that. That's how you're supposed to drive. Well, they've given him permission down at Mercedes to do uh, a few donuts as well. Beautiful moment here between two great champions. Victory for Verstappen from Vettel and Kimi Raikkonen. Hamilton fourth, Bottas fifth, Nico Hülkenberg successive sixth place finishes for him. Charles Leclerc, another seventh place finish for Charles Leclerc. A much better afternoon for Stoffel van Dorn than he's had uh, recently. Ends the longest active pointless streak by scoring for the first time since Azerbaijan. Two years from now, we, it's not out of the question. We're sitting here talking about matching Michael Schumacher's. It's lights out, away we go, Verstappen gets an awful start. He's already been bypassed by the two Mercedes Norris and Raikkonen as well. Leclerc leads from Bottas, then comes Lando Norris ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Kimi Raikkonen then slots in behind them, and behind Raikkonen, Sebastian Vettel, and then comes Pierre Gasly and Antonio Giovinazzi. Great start for Charles Leclerc. Into turn three we go, Norris on the inside of Hamilton. Hamilton goes wide, Lando Norris might get a decent getaway. And wheel to wheel with the Mercedes there, the two British drivers really going for it. Hamilton eases ahead and Norris slots back behind him. And we see, I think Gasly's ahead of Verstappen even in the Red Bull team. An awful start. It bogged down. I think he went into anti-stall. It was a very long red light today compared to last weekend. And it looks like it caught Max Verstappen out. Max Verstappen has lost more positions on the first lap today than his previous 14 races combined as here goes the Ferrari of Sebastian Vettel squeezing past Lando Norris into turn three. But Norris is going to come back at Sebastian Vettel now towards turn four. And he's got
got DRS assistance as well. Is the McLaren going to go round the outside of the Ferrari into turn four? Vettel breaks just that fraction later, and that saves the day. But he runs wide, and he's still a little bit under pressure in this battle for fifth place. Look, Verstappen's a lot closer on this particular occasion. I need more power, mate. He's scripting a lot. Old message, because I think he's got enough power, and he has. Into turn three. That'll please the uh, Dutch crowd here. Verstappen has Raikkonen in his sights towards turn three. Under braking, who's prepared to break the latest? Max Verstappen is Kimi Raikkonen. Didn't put up much of a fight for the second that running. Verstappen makes a place at turn three. Tell me when to start pushing. Target lap time, 10.0, it's good like this. The team having to kind of put the reins on a bit as Norris dives down the inside on Kimi Raikkonen, and Raikkonen gives him space. Valtteri Bottas into the pit lane, and Sebastian Vettel, they might have done the dubby, dummy uh, down at Ferrari, no, they haven't, because Sebastian Vettel is coming in too, and that is a very neat move indeed by Ferrari, because by pitting Sebastian Vettel then, that They're kept not ready Bottas, for him. Well, it kept Bottas stationary for longer, but they weren't ready, Martin, with the tyres, and whatever ground they made up, by uh, coming in when they did, they then lost by a very lengthy pit stop, 6.1 seconds. Vettel was stationary for. Box, 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 box. Japan, change wing. Hey, Ferb, we're going to do that. So, whatever's gone wrong on that front wing, Lewis Hamilton can't run it uh, for any longer in this race. And this is Gasly and Raikkonen. Now we've seen these two really going for it uh, so far this afternoon. Gasly's finally got his man, Martin. Come on, mate, let's get it done early. Let's do it. Verstappen is going to send the Red Bull ring absolutely crazy if he can make this move. And out of turn three, now he's got a very good chance indeed. There's one car length in it as Verstappen goes round the outside again. And this time, before the corner arrives, Verstappen is up into the podium positions, and they absolutely love that. I'm losing power, guys. Meanwhile, in the cockpit, all is not well for Max Verstappen. Losing power. Here he comes, here he comes, down towards turn three. Is Verstappen going to go down the inside? Yes, he is, under braking. Max Verstappen manages to clear Valtteri Bottas. He started second in Verstappen. He was down towards position nine by the end of the first lap, and he is back up to second once again. <laughs> oh, yes. All right, this is game on. Honda have won just one Grand Prix in the last 27 years. It was Jensen Button, the Hungarian Grand Prix in 2006. They're on the verge here of getting the lead in the Austrian Grand Prix as Verstappen goes down the inside once again. It's wheel to wheel with Charles Leclerc and Verstappen comes out still alongside that Ferrari. Down DRS. towards turn four. Verstappen's got DRS once again. He's so close. He's wheel to wheel once again, but it is a very tricky part of the track to overtake if you're not ahead going into the braking zone and fair play bravo Charles Leclerc that was great defending towards turn three is he going to go inside or outside which way is Verstappen going to go here DRS wide open gaining on the Ferrari switches early Verstappen late braking Leclerc this time might just have to give way as he goes off the track and when he comes back on Max Verstappen has just sent Holland into raptures he leads the Austrian Grand Prix what a battle this has been and on that occasion Leclerc powerless to defend his lead he turned in on me mate there was nothing wrong with that mate nothing wrong with it what the hell is that the stewards are now looking at that incident between Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen but it might not be over yet what are Hamilton and Vettel going to do in these last couple of laps? Because Sebastian Vettel might just get the chance as well to get past the Mercedes. As it is, Hamilton's teammate Valtteri Bottas looks comfortable in third place, but Hamilton's fourth place has just disappeared as he locks up 
Sebastian Vettel goes past into turn four and Hamilton's run of podium finishes is going to come to an end here at the Red Bull Ring this afternoon. Max Verstappen is going to give his fans cause for celebration once again. It's one, two, three, four, five, six victories in Formula One for Max Verstappen. And this, number six, was very much the best. Verstappen wins the Austrian Grand Prix, but a round of applause amidst all the hugs and celebrations at Red Bull for Charles Leclerc as well, who just couldn't fend off Verstappen in the end. Oh, what a turn out after that one. <laughs> Great job, boys. Mercedes on the podium through Valtteri Bottas. Honda on the podium once again and winners for the first time since 2006. Charles Leclerc for the moment, still waiting for his first win. Max Verstappen, they came, they saw, and he conquered. But will that result stand? What an afternoon it's been.